In this video, you will learn what DOIs are and why they are important. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier. DOIs are unique strings of letters and numbers assigned by the International DOI Federation to provide a digital identifier to an object. Objects with a DOI do not need to be digital, but most often are, and include scholarly articles, research reports, governmental reports, datasets, conference proceedings, and more, and provide a persistent link to that content on the internet. Essentially, you can think of a DOI as a universal identifier to help you locate and identify primarily digital content, similar to how a barcode identifies a product or an ISBN is found on a book. Throughout the rest of this video, I will use articles as an example of content that has been assigned a DOI. But remember that DOIs can be assigned to a much wider range of objects. Here are two reasons why DOIs are so useful. They confirm an object's identity. Many authors share the same name, and different articles might even share very similar titles. Since DOIs are unique, they will help you find the exact article that a DOI has been assigned to, so there is no mixing up authors or titles. They also provide a permanent digital link to an article. Scholarly articles and other digital objects that get assigned a DOI might live in different places over the course of their lifespan. For example, you will see DOIs on a journal's website, in citations or bibliographies, on a PDF in a database, on the author's website, in search engines, or even in an open access repository. A DOI provides a link that will always lead to the article, regardless of where it is stored or duplicated. So, how do you find the DOI for an article? There are a few ways. Often, DOIs are included somewhere in the PDF of the article itself, in the header or near the title and author. As you can see, the DOI for this conference proceeding is on the side of the page. They are also included in the metadata of the article. For example, if you are looking at the article citation or in a database. Here, I am looking at an item record in library search. The DOI for the article is included under the More Item Details dropdown. It may also be added to the metadata layer in your reference management software, such as Zotero, when you import the source. Finally, if you have the title and author of an article, you can look up the associated DOI in crossref. Here, I am looking up the same conference proceeding using the title and author. The DOI is easily visible in the search results. Let's say you have the DOI for an article, but not the article itself. How can you use the DOI to find the full text? If the DOI starts with HTTP or HTTPS, it's simple. Just click on it or paste it into your web browser. You can also turn any DOI starting with a 10 into a URL by adding HTTP colon slash slash DOI.org to the beginning. For example, my first link here leads to the DOI handbook. You might be wondering how you will use DOIs in your scholarship. For an article that you have only in print or PDF, you can use the DOI to find the full bibliographic information, as well as supplementary materials, citation metrics, and more. You can include DOIs in your citations to make it easier for readers to find the articles you reference. Styles like MLA and APA actually require it. DOIs are included as permalinks for many articles, which means no more broken links. Check out the Claremont College's Library YouTube channel to learn more about the research process and library resources. And you can always contact the library via Ask Us or chat with more questions.